Welcome to my new Let's Play of Klonoa Beach Volleyball. In anticipation for the Klonoa Phantom Reverie series compilation and for the franchise's 25th anniversary, I thought it would be fun to highlight one of the more obscure Klonoa games, a Japan and Europe exclusive beach volleyball spin-off. Before we hop into the championship mode, let's go over the basics in training mode. Hi, I'm Klonoa. Let's play some beach volleyball today. Oops, I forgot to say that we are going to play beach volleyball with a twist. We don't always play on a beach court, for starters. Okay then, let me introduce you to the rules. Beach volleyball is a match of two against two. Return the ball to the other side of the net without dropping it. If your opponent drops the ball, you win a point. Repeat this to be the first team to win enough points to win the game. Do you understand? You think it's easy? Why don't you watch what a real beach volleyball match is like? What did you think? Do you get the idea? In training, your team is on the left of the screen. Your opponent is on the right. Press the X button to receive and the square button to pass the ball over the net. In beach volleyball, you take turns hitting the ball two times and then pass it over the net. Good teamwork is the key. Let's watch the match again. Each player took turns to hit the ball, then pass it over the net, on the third touch. Pay attention because I'm going to teach you some basics about beach volleyball. Let's practice serving. A serve is where you have to hit the ball to the other team at the start of a point. The other team's area is to the right of the net and inside the white lines. If you can't serve, you won't be able to play a match. This is the first step of the match. Listen carefully as I explain what you have to do. Press the square button to throw the ball into the air. Press the square button when the ball is high in the air. Did you see that? That is a serve. If your timing is wrong, You'll end up failing and looking silly. Let's give it a go. Serve three times to clear this challenge. Miss five times to fail. So I actually find serving to be a little bit tricky in this game. I often whiff serves, and that's honestly how I've lost a lot of points like that. Um, I feel like uh, you aren't supposed to press square at the apex of uh, the ball's height. Uh, kind of when it's falling down is the best time. Well done! Great job! The square button can also be used to hit the ball over the net. Don't forget that the square button will hit the ball over to your opponent. Let's practice something new! When you serve, you should aim for a place far away from the players on the other team. Press the directional button while serving to add direction to your serve. For example, if you press up on the directional button, did you see that? You can hit the ball into the other side of the court in an, uh, in an upward direction. Up, down, left, right, and diagonal corresponds to areas on the other side of the court. If you press top right, the ball will land in the top right of your opponent's court. If you press down while serving, the ball will travel downwards. 
to aim for the middle, don't press any directional buttons. Time to practice. Hit the circle on your opponent's side of the court using a serve. Hit the circle mark three times to clear, miss five times to fail the challenge. So yeah, this is just a simple test of aiming where the serve goes. Um, honestly, the, t the toughest part is actually serving for me. Um, because for some reason, yeah, the timing is just very particular uh, to actually get a good serve. And I often miss. Um, so yeah, I'm actually wondering how many times this is going to happen. Not only in the playthrough, but just the tutorial itself. Um, it does seem like the higher up it is, the faster it travels, so it is good to time it properly. I just don't entirely understand the timing, if I'm being honest. Uh, overall, not too bad. Okay, don't forget what I've taught you. Next, we're going to practice receiving. In beach volleyball, if you drop the ball in your half of the court, your opponent wins a point. You need to stop the ball falling in your half when your opponent serves. This is called a receive. In this practice challenge, you have to receive serves from the other team. To receive, press the X button near the ball. The player nearest the position where the ball is about to fall will receive the ball. The ball will fall on the point marked X. Press the appropriate directional button and the X button to aim, uh, aim the for the X. Did you understand that? The X was on the left of that player, so he had to press the left directional button and the X button. Even if you can't reach the X, press the X button early so your character dives for the ball. If you don't press any directional buttons with the X button, your character might miss the ball. Let me show you a good trick. Receive 5 times successfully to clear the challenge and miss 5 times to retry. I do feel like some of these tutorials aren't the best in terms of how they're written. Uh, a lot of redundant word choices and also a typo in the last one. Um, one tricky thing about this game is you end up playing both characters in a lot of scenarios, uh, which can take some getting used to um, because of trying to yeah juggle both characters on your side. Um, it's not so bad in the tutorial, but it will definitely be a challenge later on once we get into actual matches. That's great! Now don't forget what you've just practiced. The X button can also be used to pass the ball to your teammate. Don't forget that the X button is used to receive the ball or to pass it to your teammate. Basically, the square button is for attacking and the X button is for receiving. Now let's practice attacks. Time to attack the enemy. First of all, we need to receive the ball. That means press the X button near the ball. Now let's try passing the received ball to your teammate. This is called a toss. To perform a toss, press the X button. Use the directional buttons to add direction. The up, down, left, and right directional buttons correspond to areas on the other side's court. Tosses are most effective by the net because you'll be able to set up a better attack. Toss ball to net by pressing X button and right or top right and bottom left directional buttons. Once you've performed a toss, hit the ball into your opponent's half of the court. This is called an attack. To attack, press the square button when you're close to the ball. If you hit the ball when it is high up in the air, you can perform a strong attack. 
Remember the timing to perform a fantastic shot. The nearer to the net you are, the easier it is to perform a strong attack. That's why you should send tosses as close to the net as possible. You can use the directional buttons to direct the ball. To win the point, try to send the ball to an area out of reach of your opponent. If the other team drops the ball in the area within the white lines, you win the point. If your attack falls outside the borders of your opponent's half, they will win the point. Receive, toss, and attack. Receive the ball, pass, and return to your opponent. This is the basic flow of a beach volleyball match. Remember to alternate touching the ball. Uh, the active player has a light blue ring at his feet. Press the X, X, then square buttons. Keep in mind what I've told you and watch the game. Let's try it. The order is X, X, then square button. Got that? Succeed in attacking three times to clear. Miss five times to retry. Alright, so we do want to serve the ball closer to the net to set up a better uh, attack. Um, yeah, in general, these tutorials aren't the best. I definitely feel like the translation could have been a little bit better. Uh, it definitely gets the point across, but yeah, it isn't entirely worth the best. Um, Alright, so here we go. Wow, that's great! Use the technique to become the champion. Let's go through the rules of beach volleyball again. Once the ball enters your half, use up to three touches to return the ball to your opponent. Hitting the ball four times is against the rules and called a four hit. The same player must not touch the ball twice in a row. This is against the rules and called a dribble. Now for super attacks. This is where you can show the other team who's the best. Let's go into our last practice challenge. Our, ne our new technique is super attacks. To hit a super attack, you need to pay attention to the square panel at the top of the screen. To hit a super attack, you need to store points in this panel. Your panel is on the left, your opponent is on the right. If your team wins a point, the panel area corresponding to where the ball fell will light up. Get a vertical, horizontal, or diagonal line for a chance to hit a super attack. If the ball drops in the bottom right of your court, the bottom right panel will light up. The bottom right panel lit up when the ball fell in the corresponding area. Let's try and recreate what we've just watched. Successfully attack bottom right of the other half to make a line. Press X, X, and square buttons. Alright, so we have to set up for a super attack as the tutorial said. Okay, let's try that again. I was not holding down right, I was just holding down. Uh, this should work. Okay, now you've got a whole line. Let's try and hit a super attack. To hit a super attack, press the circle button once you've got a straight line. It's a bit like a normal attack, so press X, X, then circle buttons. Here's an example. Super attacks are stronger than a normal attack and allow you to score a lot of points in one go. The more lines you have, the more points you can get. You can win a maximum of 9 points using a super attack. If you use a super attack, all of your lit panels will disappear. 
Let's give it a go. It's a bit like a normal attack, so press X, X, and circle buttons. Make one successful super attack to clear. Miss five times to retry. You only have to get one clear, so this isn't actually too bad. Congratulations! Nice work! You can now work towards becoming a super player. In a real match, use the super attack to win. To defend the super attack, press a directional button and repeatedly press the X button. We have now completed training mode. Now for some useful techniques. Let me teach you some attack techniques. Hit the ball when it is at its highest to hit extra strong serves and attacks. Strong shots will leave a path. Don't forget the timing for hitting a strong shot. When the ball from your opponent is slow, take that chance to win the point. You can use the, the square button to directly return the ball over the net. That was a direct attack. Once you get the hang of this, you'll be able to beat any enemy. If your, oppo if your opponent hits a slow floating ball, use the square button to send the ball back. Make sure that you don't give your opponent the upper hand by hitting a slow, floaty ball. First-class players have to be very good at defense as well as attack. Now we are going to practice defending against an attack. If your opponent hits an attack, you should receive the ball. But if you jump near the net, you may be able to directly hit the ball over the net. This is called a block. This is a difficult technique, but once you've got the hang of it, it'll be very useful. Use the square button as you would an attack. Press the square button when you're near the net and your opponent is likely to attack. Aim by pressing the square button at the same time as your opponent or slightly before. When it looks like you're going to be blocked, you can use the following technique. If you attack and you think that your opponent may block your shot, use the directional button to hit the ball into the direction of your court. The ball will not be blocked and will fall near your opponent's side of the net. This is called a feint. The player pressed the left directional button and pressed square together, and, the, and square button together. Use techniques to come up with your ultimate playing style. Use these techniques on the court. If you get stuck while in a match, you can come back to the, to the training mode. Work hard, and you'll be the champion. And with that, we have completed the training mode. So next time, we'll jump into the championship mode. So thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join me next time for more Klonoa Beach Volleyball.